I spent a full seven days in the cosmic desktop, and I'm going to tell you my gripes about it and what was good and what was not. I spent seven days in Cosmic on Pop OS 2204. This is a pre alpha, keep that in mind, pre alpha. And I, I'm, I'm in love with this desktop. It's just, it's just crazy. Okay, some, these are some of my gripes and some of the things that I like about it. Uh, clicking at the top of a window, it goes wacky when in tiled mode. I think I figured out what this is. So let me open a browser here. I'm in the tiled mode. See, when you're not tiled, you can, you know, move it around anywhere you want. Even full screen, you can still, it does that. But when you are tiled, it automatically makes everything full screen. So what I, I think I, I notice I'm doing is I'll click up here and for some reason, my finger's just used to hitting that left click button and it it grabs the window because what you're supposed to be able to do is open up you know a couple of tiling windows and then you can drag it to whatever position you want and i think that's that's just my doing not necessarily cosmic's thing so that i can scratch that off the list the control alt delete shortcut for for logging out when you log out you got the Control Alt Delete does not work yet. I'm hitting it right now and nothing's happening. Um, just wanted to make sure I was still recording. The When I added a third monitor, I was running this two monitors the last time I, I spoke to you guys. Now I've, I've put the third monitor back into my workflow and it it did it does not mirror the little applets here what are these called the notification applets i think is what it's called the yeah cosmic applet status area is what it's called that that's only on two monitors one and two it does not it does not work on the third one um when I, da, 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 it's, it's got all the other applets in there, just like it's supposed to. It just doesn't have that, that notification one. Um, the status area applet doesn't always show the icons. The, like, you know, sometimes, you know, like Shildy Chat, which is a matrix client, it's showing now, but there are times that it does not show up. It's just a blank space. Um, same way with um, uh, Steam. Steam quite often does not show up because I don't leave Steam running all the time. So I, I never know if it's running. Until I click up there. Um, that could just be some, you know, some kind of fluke, I guess. I don't know. Uh, would love to see the dot in the dock loading area or in the dock indicating what app is open be matched to this shit to the hit active hint so like so you got the text files here okay now shilly chat's running we look i move it over here to the third monitor i can remember the shortcut see the see these little dots right here like there's obs Shildy chat in my my notes they're they're open those that indicates active window but i would love to see that active window color match that just to make it pop a little you know it is called pop os after all um <laughs> the can't add all the apps to the dock favorites I don't know why, but like I'll open Chrome here and 
See the icon for it is just this gear icon. There's no add to favorites. Like I can do the same with OBS, but I can't with Chrome. It's not just Chrome. There's other apps too that does that. Um, drag and drop does not work yet. I'm sure that's coming. It's you know just to let this is just to let you guys know that if you are going to try this out in the pre-alpha stage, that it is not complete. These are just the things that I have I found this week that or this last week that do not work or does work. Also in Cosmic Files, it's Super F opens that. Um, it doesn't show the full file name when you're in a group grid view. Like I, I understand that it's probably just held by you know a character limit or something, but when you change the view to list view, you know there it is. The another thing in cosmic oh in the cosmic editor the the text editor i had something weird going on somehow or another it changed part of my text to purple and i could not get rid of it after a reboot all all is good i have no idea i don't get it it changed the, it, the text was matching the active hint user that i was using at the time <laughs> Uh, there's another thing about cosmic files. We on sim links, they show up like this. I don't know if that's because these are folders that are sim linked. Because when you go to that folder, those files are not, you know, they they actually show the folder like they're supposed to. Another thing, the sim links, when you click on a sim link, it opens it in a new window. And there's no option to open it any other way other than, you know, like with Nautilus. And I don't want to use Nautilus. I want to use Cosmic Piles because this is cool and it's new and it's on the cutting edge of cool stuff. Multi-monitor on Cosmic is a dream. Uh, it's not just, I don't mean it like, oh, it's a dream, you know, to achieve. It's, it's there. <laughs> it just works, dude. Having the way, the, the ability to independently, you know, switch your set dex desktops on the fly, your workspaces for as, as many things as you want, you know, and then what you can know, just jump over to the other monitor and move stuff up and down and you can be on workspace two on the left monitor and be on workspace nine on the right monitor just just like on like an i3 window manager type thing and dude that that just that's just awesome um you can move windows from monitor to monitor with uh super comma or super period just like on i3, I think it is, and a couple other uh, window managers. The multi, the tiling is just absolutely amazing because you can do this. Say you want, you know, four grid. Say you want to maybe do another one here. Do another one. Oh, wrong one. And then, you know, you can just keep going. And going and going and going, you know, was that the Fibonacci or whatever layout? I don't know what you call it, but you can, you can, you move them anywhere. Hold this, uh, just grab it and start moving. You know, arrange stuff around whatever you want. That one's not big enough. You can always make this bigger. Just grab it and pull. You, can, it, it's this. It's just awesome. So, to answer, I'm, I got a bunch of comments on the last video, and it's probably the biggest video, most viewed video that I've ever done. 
and I appreciate your your constructive criticisms on on my stuff. And I, you know, I believe me, I really do appreciate it. I'm going to go through and in, in another video and address those comments. And you know, because I I do want to do. There's you know, I don't want to. I'm not the kind of person that does stuff creates content for other people. I've always created content just for me. And <laughs> I do like, I do want to improve, but I don't, you know, I'm not saying that I don't care about you, but I'm saying I do like the constructive, con you know, criticisms because they help me improve. And improvement is what makes the world go around. If I can put something out and other people find enjoyment in it and learn something, then great. I'm happy. And that's why I want to address the comments in a separate video. The To answer the question of could Cosmic Epic Desktop be the new king of the Linux landscape? from last video because I didn't didn't after after all I didn't answer it I just want to say considering this is a still pre-alpha and the core apps are not ready they are damn close they are functional like I said I, I spent the whole week in it during the day job during playtime I played my steam game team team fortress 2 is the only steam game I play it's pretty much the only game I play. Um, I did, you know, the videos, the last video and this video was completely 100% produced in Cosmic. Um, every, everything I did, you know, it, it it just worked. There, Yeah, there was a couple of quirks and misses here and there that I didn't understand. But there was always a workaround. And if it's this good in the pre-alpha... I can't wait to see what it's going to be like when it's finally released. This and if and GNOME and KDE, you guys better be paying attention to what what System seventy six is doing with Cosmic. Cosmic is it's very could very well take over that top spot in the future. You know, three four years down the road, where it's the default desktop on Ubuntu and Fedora and all these others. And GNOME and KDE are the spins. You know, just, I, I'm just throwing that out there because, you know, GNOME, you guys like to just find bugs and then remove the functionality instead of fixing it. And KDE, you just like to create new new functionality that nobody asked for. And still left all the bugs in it. So, you know, just, you guys might want to up your game a little bit. Because there's a new, there's a new, new kid in town. And it don't look like they're taking no prisoners. Cosmic's going to be a force to reckon with. You can, you can pretty well bet your bottom dollar on that. I do want to point out that this is why open source it's just plain awesome. Because when a project doesn't listen to its users and forces changes for no real reason, or they don't fix their bugs but keep moving forward new features, there's either going to be a fork or somebody's going to make their own new thing. System76 and the Cosmic Team developers, you guys are freaking awesome. Keep up the good work. I can't wait to see what this is going to be like when it's released. This is going to be badass. For that, we're out of here. Thanks for your time. Thanks for listening. We'll talk at you guys later. Be good, be safe, never ever stick a finger where you wouldn't stick your face.